Hey guys, thanks for tuning in again this weekend. We are back again. Um, and we're slowly, slowly catching up on everything that we yes. missed while we were away. And uh, yes, one of the movies us. that we caught up on this week was uh, Aquaman, directed by James Wan, starring Jason Momoa. Yes. Sorry. Was... Nicole Kidman. <laughs> Patrick Wilson. Amber Heard as Amber well, Heard. isn't it? Yeah. Willem Dafoe. Willem Dafoe, I mean, yes. I guess you can say it's a pretty all-star cast. Well, James Wan is the Fast and the Furious director, so I half expected Vin Diesel to make a cameo <laughs> This is a little, little fish man. <laughs> maybe like a DC version of Groot. Oh, yeah. Maybe. I suppose. Or The Rock. Maybe The Rock was one of the mermaids. Maybe. I mean, I would, I that would make surprised. it more impressive, I guess. Anyway, everyone's been going nuts about this movie. <sighs> they have. I'm not sure why. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Um, look, Questionable. It was, it was entertaining. That was all I can say about it. Like, it did seem feel very much like a Fast and the Furious movie. Like you, it was a journey. It was like a lot of stuff happened, like <laughs> yes. in Fast and the Furious. Was, there was um, just a lot of action scenes, a lot of rant, like jumping from place to place to place, and yeah, there was lots going on. I mean, the whole time. There's a huge argument going on in, in cinema right now about how superhero movies don't have any depth they're allowed to have depth like they don't have to be like oh, super yeah. corny and melodramatic it makes it more i know that they're meant to be like you know not unhuman you know but it, it makes them more human when it does have depth but and you can you, relate more like it's a good entry for the dc universe considering their track record i mean i like this one better than i did justice league and that's saying yeah something. i agree i agree um, and but still i, I found it very very uh I, I can't explain. It's fantastical. I well, guess? it was meant to be fantastical. I mean, anything Atlantis. So, like every yeah. Atlantis trope that existed, they threw into this film. They did, and that, um, I think that's like I said this like during. I was like, less is more. Hey, like the whole mm. entry scene into Atlantis. I was like, whoa, this is like. It was very colorful. Like it was sensory so many, overload. There was though. so many colors, and it's like it was too much. They could have toned it back a bit. Exactly. Like, like Avatar did the same thing with the beautiful, like you know. Yeah. But this was just too much. It was like a smack in the face. So it's. I mean, the story was alright. Like the, it's been told a thousand times before. The whole Shakespearean, you know brothers fighting against each other for the kingdom to save the world and blah 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 blah. Yes. Um, so in that aspect there was nothing really new. Uh, all we got to see was Jason Momoa playing out that role. I was totally fine with that. Yeah, no, you're a fan. <laughs> um, but look, I've got to say, I'm not sure what everyone's going, going nuts over. I really don't. Yeah, I agree with you. Like for me, I like I literally think until halfway of the movie I was like this is actually okay like this is all right it has some really good messages about how we treat the ocean yep. like I completely cool. agreed with the brother the I king. think there was a point where the movie just went completely it ridiculous. just went like yeah literally no, like was I was like halfway when they, got to the, when they had to go to the desert that was when I was like nah that's where it got I'm s- done I think that's it like the movie I was actually pretty happy with until we got Same. to that point yeah they went to the desert like I could went- forgive the fantastic like I can forgive it and, and, like, until that point, I was like, no. There was a lot of stupid jokes from that point on. I'm like, what? Yeah. Like, give me from the before they go to the desert to when he, like, actually goes to find the trident. Yep. Cut that whole middle bit out of them, like, going to Italy and, like, walking out of the water. Yes. Like, yeah, slow that's motion. Right. Well, like she that. eats a friggin' rose. Like, what? That whole part, especially with the music as well, it's like so stupid. And like the um, like, Power Rangers guys, like <laughs> rocking up, like pew, 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 pew. that was like, oh. It did actually. It did seem like some of the baddies in this movie were straight out of the Power Rangers. Oh my god, it so like, was one of the episodes. Like something um, you'd see on a kids' channel. Just, oh, that was that's unforgivable. Yeah, I, I just I don't know. I don't know why people are going nuts about it. Yeah, that I is I don't see it. It was, uh, it was, it's d- definitely a, a good entry into the DC universe considering the past. I mean, the last good one for me was Man of Steel and that was the one that actually started it all. Um, <laughs> so it's really not done well for you, that whole universe is like... But look, I really like, I, I really like DC for TV series. Yeah. Like, they do really, like, I'm a big fan of The Flash and yeah. Arrow and all that. And Titans, which I'm, I'm hoping to do a review on soon because I really like you. You saw the trailer and didn't like it, but I watched it. I'll give it a go. I'm actually 
yeah, I'm pretty happy with the Titans. Well, DC was the universe that I loved in the comics. Like, mm. I used to always buy Justice League. I mean, Superman was more my kind of guy, but, yeah. like, still. I don't think I ever bought an Aquaman comic. No, neither did I, because he looks a little bit different. Work. He looks a little bit different in the comic books. I, I prefer the updated version. I've got to say that. Um, yeah, I reckon my biggest critique, just take that whole middle section out, and it would have mm. been, like... Loads better. Way tone, better. Tone down the colours as well. Like, it didn't need to be... Oh, my God, Amber Heard's I mean, hair. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, oh. She looked like a Barbie doll. That's... Um, oh. They couldn't have gone with, like, just a really bright orange one. I've seen drag queens with better wigs than that. Like, mm. that's no, no excuse. That was distracting. There's no, that's no excuse. That's, that's bad. I think, I think at some point it was like they were trying to recreate Star Wars underwater. Yeah, it did that, have that vibe. Yeah. I yeah. Like they were trying to do the whole Star Wars universe, but underwater. Well, the battle scenes were cool. I really li like. I liked them. Oh, uh, was... especially the last one with yeah. the with the crack. Uh, that was I don't, cool. I don't know. I'm not sure what they call the crack. I don't know. But that's something like, else. But anyway, but, you know, that was a, that, that was pretty cool. See, like it had good things. It did have good it things. Did. It was just a yeah. I'm not. I don't know how to describe it. Also, it. very bad thing. It's like you know, like Fast and Furious. They make so many of them, but you don't care about any of them. But you also kind of do a little bit. No, I don't. Like, the first few I loved, and then it just got to a point where I was like, there's too much now. Yeah, well, like, there's always going to be another one. Like, there's no... There's it's no, never ending. Uh, there's no value in the films. Yeah. Anyway. Yeah. If you had to rate it, what would you rate this watery, colourful mess? Okay, I'm going to sort of give it two ratings, but I'll give an overall. Like... All right, before we do the ratings, I wanted to say one thing. Okay. James Wan, the director, mm -hmm. after some people came out, dissing the film, mm -hmm. actually defended the people dissing the film, because a lot of people who who didn't like other people dissing the film, can you get this, went out and started harassing people that didn't like the film. And then James oh, Wan so came out saying, he's like, like, hey, everyone's allowed to have their own yeah, opinion. Yeah, for sure. Um, so just leave it I respect that. As a, and that I do, director, I respect that's that too. Good. I really wish that Ryan Johnson from Star Wars would learn that. But anyway. Um, <laughs> Still bitter. Still bitter. But yeah. Kudos to him for that. Yeah. He did, that's, that's good. That's really that's good. what every director that's should be like. what a real director is like. Mm. But anyway. What would Ratings. You rate? If it didn't have that whole Baywatch in the desert, like, kids novel thingy, movie, TV show, I would give it, like, a decent seven. Because mm. I was very entertained for most of it, and then it just got ridiculous. Yeah. But given that they kept that in there, mm. I'm going to give it a four. Wow, I would have thought a four would be out of, the, out of your league. Okay, well, I considering that it was, I was actually intrigued halfway through the film and then it lost me in the second half, I'm yep. going to give it a five just to sit in the middle. Yeah, just to be like, well, half half. I'm not sure why everyone's going crazy over this film, but every, each to their it's own. Just because of Jason. <laughs> Everyone, yeah, that's probably it. It's a lot of, I get it. a I much get larger it. female contingent, I yeah. imagine, than the fans, I and it. males probably. Yeah. Um, but anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed that. If you did see the film and you had your own opinions, feel free to share. We're yes. always happy to discuss in Definitely. the comments below. Um, and yeah, you can follow us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and obviously here on the channel. And we have the store as well, which has been a recent development, almost a few months now. But we have a whole bunch of cool products on there you can check out. Yeah, check it out. Some okay. Good stuff. Anyway, guys, <laughs> hope you enjoyed that. We'll see you next week. Bye. <laughs>